It's releasing its ether. Fall back. We cannot let it touch us. Quickly, my lord, we must withdraw. That will not be necessary, Captain. Though I appreciate your concern. The eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place, born of the self-same ether relinquished by its predecessor. But now we have a way to contain that corruption. The blessing of light, and the hero who wields it now stands before you. Behold, the monster's power is broken, and the world, twisted by its touch, returns to its rightful form. Is that what I think it is? The night sky, as it should be. Who are you people? You killed a warden, then bathed in its ether as if it were a spring shower and now the sky? The legends are true. My lord? How many years have I waited for this moment? For the one possessed of her blessing? For you. You have vanquished the Light Warden of Lakeland, and for the first time in a century, darkness has returned to the mantle of night. Without the ever present light to sustain them, the Sin Eaters will have no choice but to retreat. Yet our victory is far from complete. Though darkness has fallen here, the other wardens yet bask beneath burning skies, feasting upon what little life remains. Even should it cost me all I have, I would see each and every one of them slain, that this world might be spared from oblivion. Not only for the first, but for the source as well. Save one, and we save the other. But, be that as it may, I concede it was wrong of me to summon you to this fight against your will. I swear on my life, 
I will one day atone for that deed, but for the present, I beg you, stay and see this fight to its conclusion. Cast down the Wardens and restore darkness to the first. On behalf of the first, I offer you my deepest thanks. So it's your lot's turn to be the Warriors of Darkness, is it? <laughs> it's funny how things work out. Well, I did warn you. I followed you to Yulmor and then on to Armarang. And I was there when you slew the Light Warden. Those white-haired twins who are with you. I remember them from our battle in the source. Are they your friends then? Through thick and thin. Aye. Then I suggest you keep them close. So when you charge ahead trying to save someone else that you end up losing those you love. And not that you need telling, I'll bet you've lost plenty. But I wonder. What will it cost you this time? I don't remember when it was that I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. And just more nagging burdens to ignore. So this is what the light was hiding. She's here. I must go to her. Intruders! Fan out and fight them! Out of my way! Stay your weapon. We are not your enemy. When the alarm sounded, I wondered what we had done to betray our presence. But I see now we are not the only intruders. 
Saristinian, I presume. The dragoon who plucked the warrior of light from the jaws of death? Your armor is most distinct. Much as yours once was. But even without it, I see a former legator still has eyes and ears in unexpected places. Van Bailsa, in the flesh. Though I understand you prefer Shadow Hunter. Hmm. You are in contact with the Scions, I take it. <laughs> Through no choice of my own. They tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. I swear their receptionist was trained as a spy. Not that anyone can escape that Baldessian woman once she has caught the scent of Euretha. If they have resorted to using freelancers, I must assume their attempts to wake the afflicted have failed. And what of their champion? Away on another business. Thus, it has fallen to me to root out any trace of the Empire's new weapon. If it is Black Rose you seek, you are too late. My people have already completed your mission here. Yet this is but one factory among many. When they caught wind of our efforts, they built additional facilities to ensure production continues unabated. There will be no one left in the lands they conquer. No citizens to conscript. No skills to exploit. Nothing the Empire needs. And they will call it victory. What exactly does this Black Rose do? The gas is described as a poison, but its actual effect is more arcane in nature. 